It's fairly common for nighttime venues to have certain dress codes, but bars in downtown St. Louis are receiving flack for their particular dress code, one that doesn't always allow baseball jerseys at a place called Ballpark Village. If you've been waiting to bust out that jersey all winter, you will only be able to wear it to Ballpark Village in conjunction with a Cardinals game or any other major St. Louis sporting event. Otherwise, jerseys are banned. No hats on the second floor of the Budweiser brew house. No hats across from a baseball stadium. That'll keep the riffraff out. In addition to the ban on jerseys and hats in certain areas, the dress code forbids sleeveless shirts on men, profanity on clothing, exposed undergarments on men, sweatpants, full sweatsuits, athletic shorts, excessively sagging pants or shorts, bandanas, and excessively long shirts. Now, to be clear, Ballpark Village itself does not have a dress code. Neither does the Cardinals team restaurant inside the village. But there are about eight bars within village premises that are enforcing this dress code after 9 p.m. Ballpark Village is a newly constructed multi-million dollar downtown entertainment area located just across from the St. Louis Cardinals Busch Stadium. It features bars, restaurants, live music, Cardinals memorabilia, and more. Deadspin appeared to be one of the policy's harshest critics, dedicating three articles to the topic within two days. One writer said the bars have a dress code to keep out what your bigoted great aunt might call the wrong element. And another writer added, I understand the need to make sure that your local bar is not overrun with jerks. Instituting a dress code that forbids what you perceive as gangwear does not accomplish this. St. Louis's KSDK spoke with some passersby on the street who had mixed reactions. I wouldn't be against that. I don't really see it. people's underwear. In regards to no jerseys except for on game day, eh. St. Louis has been doing it a lot but everywhere with these dress codes and it's ridiculous. But a writer for Bleacher Report says let's pump the brakes here. Ballpark Village aims to be an entertainment district that attracts crowds to the downtown area with the atmosphere that is created by the bars that have already committed to being tenants. It's a dress code that's been called not only offensive by some, but even downright racist. In fact, the issue extends beyond St. Louis city limits. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch points out the Ballpark Village developers, Baltimore-based firm The Quarters Companies, is facing lawsuits in Kansas City and in Kentucky. The plaintiffs allege the firm discriminates against African Americans. Officials say they want to make Ballpark Village a welcoming, family-friendly area. Ballpark Village officially opens for the first time Thursday evening. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno, Multiple Sources, a broader view.